Hello everyone, I am Mostaza Salteri, data scientist at UNS at UNS Library Canberra. Tonight, my title of my talk is Big Data or Big Headache, Boss or for Wise Head. So, is my photo again? <laughs> so, my journey in my PhD, I started my PhD in 2011 in Curtin University in WA. Then I sent email to my supervisor, then get flight. Uh, landing in Perth, and I started my PhD in data quality. So we got the uh, Australian Research Council grant on with actually the Department of the Transportation in WA, and they had a very bad and noisy database. For example, myself, I find 120 different spelling for Board of Australia. So you can imagine when you have a bad data, noisy data, dirty data, you cannot make a decision easily. So. At the end of my PhD, I was able to clean at least 90% of those uh, noses and dirtiness, which was very good achievement. Then I moved to Canberra, I followed her, because she was my supervisor, and I finished my PhD last year in Canberra. So I can say I can, I'm part of Canberra now. <laughs> so what is a big data? So big data, possibly, let me give you... Let me give you a handy example. I can imagine most of you should have a smartphone. So when you have a smartphone, it means that you can send email, you can make photos, you can send all the things in your Facebook or Instagram. It means that you can produce data, and this data is unstructured, because we don't put in the tables. So for that reason, people like us, they have a problem in analyze those kind of data. So we call it data, big data. Look at this. So we have big data, and we have a busy life, so it makes the problem uh, more complex. So, and it is the uh, current <laughs> uh, present of big data, we cannot handle it. So we just fear what's happening. Uh, so in, in my PhD, and after that, I tried to work on big data analytics. And I was uh, actually uh, had this opportunity to work with some PhD students. With one of them, we tried to monitor contract. If you know these days, Governments sometimes lose a lot of money because they cannot monitor contracts in a well uh, way. <laughs> so sometimes they cannot see, uh, I mean, the requirement which they, they need. So they try to build an automatic system to monitor the contracts and find the ambiguity. Why? Because the contract volumes can be very large. The second example, or second work which I am involved with one of the PhD students is working on assortment planning. I think you know what's assortment. So you have one specific merchandise in different forms. For example, this is skirt. Uh, we have one skirt, different forms, different brand, different colors. And this is a hard question. Yeah. It's a complex question. Which brand or which form we should bring into the store to maximize our profit? And also along with deep research, which I did, we try to be a knowledge graph if you know the Google use this a lot these days. When you put, uh, write some of the names on Google, they find those people using knowledge graph. So we put all the merchandise like this on the notes on graph, and then we go along the chain to the different suppliers. So if you see the earthquake happening in one of the supplier, uh, actually, uh, factory, you can predict this risk and try to mitigate this risk in an actually better fashion. So, my plan for uh, 2017. I think uh, it should be a uh, great year for me, 2017 and 2018. But why? Academic life is not like that always. It's not happy life. Why? Because we should just run for grants. And grants are not easy, easy job. So we think we are free, but finally we should be like that. So we should be careful to look at the place to find the good grants. And for that reason, I think I'm here. <laughs> so I thought at least we have three ways of collaboration. First, we can uh, run data science seminar, maybe for cheap for you guys in your company or for your kids. We have our ARC. They have an ARC linkage. Uh, a scheme. When you put one dollar, they give you three dollars, and then we are t we are coming and uh, try to solve your problem. This paragraph. Or donate your data to 
some of our PhD students. If the size is manageable, we have to thank you.